Hey everyone, it's Jamie here from Shopify Masterclass, and today I'm going to be going over what is Shopify Liquid. I'm also going to be going over quickly how you can edit it, view it, and kind of what it means overall. So you get a full explanation here, as I know Liquid can be a little intimidating here, especially if you don't have any previous background with coding. So make sure you stay until the end of the video here. Now, before I dive into it, I want to thank our sponsor ProfitCalc, the one-click profit calculator available on the Shopify app store. It's going to be a tool that's going to allow you to skip using spreadsheets for your accounting and get real-time calculations all in an easy to understand dashboard. If you're interested in an app like this, there's a link in the description to access a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. Now I'm gonna show a quick video detailing their full feature set. Have messy spreadsheets kept you from growing your business? Discover ProfitCalc, the affordable and easy to set up Shopify app that crunches your numbers in just one click. It automatically syncs with all your accounts and expenses to calculate your profit displaying everything in an easy to read dashboard so you understand your business in real time. Start for free on the Shopify app store today. Let's first dive into an overall definition of what Liquid is. And so it's an open source template language created by Shopify and written in Ruby, which is another programming language. It's the backbone of Shopify themes and it's used to load dynamic content on storefronts. So it's been in productions and used at Shopify since 2006. And it's now used and hosted by many other web applications. So this is Shopify's own GitHub page and they do a really good job at explaining how it works if you're interested in taking a deeper look at it. Now, if you've encountered Liquid, it's probably because you looked at it when editing the code for your Shopify store. So how you get there is you go to your online store on the left hand side menu, you're going to click on theme and it's going to load your themes page here. So once you're on the themes page, I'm going to hit the three dots, then you can head to edit code to view liquid. Now, if you're making any changes, I'm always going to recommend duplicating your Shopify theme before you do so. So you're going to hit those three dots again and hit duplicate. It's going to create a copy of the code here. In case you make any edits or you accidentally remove something that you weren't supposed to, it's going to make it very easy to revert to a previous version without having to figure out what you did wrong. Again, let's hit the three dots, go into edit code here, and you're going to get a bunch of different files. In the dot liquid is going to be the extension. If you use other programming languages, the extension could be dot HTML, dot CSS, dot JavaScript. It's really just going to depend on the programming language you're using. And so Shopify's dot liquid files are going to be organized into several different folders. I'm just going to close them here for ease of navigation. So you can have the layout section, which is going to include the overall section for the theme, as well as the password page. It's going to lead into the template section. So here we're going to see our individual pages. You have your blog sections, your collection sections, your product pages. From here is going to be sections. So these are going to be used in the templates here. Then you get snippets, which are even smaller sections, overall configuration. So these are going to be setting defaults, such as your color body text, color checkout, accent color, and so on. And then they're going to be your assets here. So these are mainly going to be JavaScript script files, then locals is going to pertain to the translations of different languages. So for most Shopify merchants, you're not really going to need to touch any of these sections, nor would I recommend doing so as many of these are auto generated by the theme you use or by Shopify itself. The one section you may want to look at here is if you go into templates, actually, it's going to be one above that. It's going to be theme.liquid. It's going to cover the overall HTML for your page. So many apps here will either install code on the body section or the head section. Now Shopify has gotten a lot better at forcing app developers to remove their code. It used to be that if you were in the head section here and you scrolled down, there often could be leftover code from different theme developers that could potentially slow down your Shopify store. If you don't have familiarity with coding as well, it's going to read very much like English if you kind of ignore a lot of the symbols and specific syntax. So we take a look at this if statement here. If you ignore these symbols, it's going to say if the settings favicon, this is going to be not equal to empty. It's going to create this link here that's going to show the favicon URL. And it's going to end the if statement here, closing the section, ending the section for the specific piece of code. Now, I don't want this video to be a full explanation on how to read liquid here i wanted to give you more of an overall and general view on what it is how to access it and what each section means here in terms of your shopify theme files so this is going to conclude the video here if you enjoyed the video i would love it so much if you hit that like and subscribe button below if you have any questions leave a comment if you want more in-depth videos on shopify liquid leave a comment below as well i'm also going to mention profit calc again the one click profit calculator available on the shopify app store it makes it super easy to calculate your profit so you know how much you're actually making with all your fees such as cost of goods sold transaction fees ad spend monthly expenses refunds there's a lot of little extra cost here it's going to let you do it extremely quickly without the hassles of spreadsheets so there's a link in the description below if you're interested in checking out their 15 day free trial. So this is going to conclude the video here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in our next one.